Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and if you're feeling adventurous, you can go out right now and download for free Microsoft Windows 10 Preview version. That's the next version of Windows. I've downloaded it, put it onto a disc. I'm going to install it and see what it looks like. Epic Review Guys. Now you may notice I've got my old torn apart junky computer. I'm going to try it out on this one. They don't recommend putting this on a computer that you actually use in your daily life because it's very unstable. It could crash. You could lose all of your files. So keep that in mind if you give this a try. But I really want to see what this looks like to see if Microsoft has fixed what has gotten so many people upset with Windows 8, which is basically don't make me when I'm sitting on my desktop use my computer as though I'm on a phone or a tablet. See if it still starts. There we go. Got a Vertex 4 solid state drive that I'm going to be copying Windows 10 onto from this DVD, bootable DVD that I downloaded created and then burned to the disk. Okay. Wants to know, where's that disk? Well, this looks pretty standard. I think that basically says if something goes wrong, don't blame us. We told you. Don't use this for anything serious. It's just to try out. Okay, there's an upgrade option. I'm going to do a clean install. I have a blank solid state drive. Here's my empty drive. It is 10 minutes later. It's gone through all the checkbox steps. Looks like we're here. That took less than 15 minutes. Hey, what do you know? No tiles, hooray! I'm sure they're there somewhere, but at least it comes right up to this screen. Okay, and we gotta start something here. Oh, look at that. Now that's interesting. Here's the, what I'd like to see, and here's what they'd like me to see. At least this time they compromised and gave us some of each. Now if I hover up here, does anything pop up? Nothing pops up. Hmm. Oh yeah, and is there a power off option? Oh, wait a minute, right there. They let you turn off your own computer again. What do you know? so far. No fancy themes included. All right. I can live with this. Ah, so that's how they do that. Everything's an app, but Looks like a program. Good enough. I need a wireless adapter. I'm going to plug one in here. An Asus wireless AC. Relatively new device, but this is Windows 10. It should figure out what it is and install the driver. Put in my flash drive to get the driver for the wireless dongle. Okay, I'm using the driver from the internet for this. 
Now nobody has Windows 10 drivers out there yet, so if it's too different from Windows 8, this won't work. Hmm. Okay. All right. There we go. This looks a little different. Okay, still looks a little different, but more to my liking. Here we've got YouTube full screen. See how the HTML5 works. Okay, it's working. Now let's take a look at the Microsoft Store. There we go. They really want me to sign into a Microsoft account. I guess you don't have to log in to the computer with it, but you do have to have it set up to buy things from the Microsoft Store. That actually makes sense. I've unplugged the CD drive. Let's see how fast Windows 10 starts up. That's pretty quick. No complaints there. And we'll test out how quickly it can shut down. There we go. Complete shutdown. So with what I've seen so far, Windows 10 looks pretty good on the desktop. I really like the changes that they've made. Next, I'm going to try it on my Yoga 2 Pro. This is a touchscreen laptop that you can bend all the way around and it's a, a pseudo tablet mode when you're doing that. Everything with the interface is here on the screen. So I'll be curious to see if it installs any differently on this. If it does, I'll do another follow-up video and let you know about that. And if you would like to download and try out Windows 10 for yourself, remember this will wipe out what you have on your computer and it will also, if you're using it and you put some valuable files on the computer, they can all be lost. So it's only for, for trial purposes just to see how it works. I'll put a link down below this video to where you can go to download the file. It's fairly big, four point something gigabytes in size. So if you have a slow internet connection, it's probably not worthwhile. But if you download it, and you have Windows 7, Windows 8, and a DVD drive, a DVD burner drive in your computer, you should be able to make a disc that you can start from and then you can install it yourself. See how you like it. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try.